In this video, we'll be talking about addition of vectors using the head-to-tail method. The problem that we'll be working is to find the resultant of a vector with a magnitude of 3 and a direction of 45 degrees added to a vector with a magnitude of 5 units and a direction of 135 degrees. Now I've shown both of these vectors here on this coordinate plane. The 3 at 45 is here. The grid is 1 quarter inch squares. So this magnitude, or the length of this vector, is 3 quarters of an inch long. And the angle I've measured at 45 degrees. Both of these vectors are oriented at the origin. The green vector is the 5 at 135. The magnitude is 5 units, and the angle from the positive x-axis is 135 degrees. Now when you talk about addition of vectors using the head-to-tail method, the head of the vector is this arrow part right here, and the tail of the red vector is where it begins. For a vector, the only two things that really matter is the magnitude, or how long it is, or the amount of force that it represents, and the direction that it's going. So we could move these vectors anywhere on this coordinate plane as long as the magnitude, or the length of the vector, is the same, and the direction is the same. So for the head-to-tail method for adding vectors, I'm going to start with this red one and leave it there with the tail at the origin and the head right here. But then my green vector, my 5 at 135, I'm going to move that vector so that the tail of that vector is here at the head of the red vector. Now this method is not real accurate. The 135 degrees Then I need that to be 5 quarters. So now I've moved this vector up to here. And we're no longer going to be using that original one that I had oriented at the origin. So this one's not in the picture any longer. The resultant is the vector that goes from the tail of the first one to the head of the second one. So we have four, five, The angle on that is about 105. So an approximate resultant for those two would be 6 at 105. Now we can do the mathematics on this and get a more accurate answer. Our x value, we need to change these two to rectangular coordinates and then add them together. So our x value of the resultant in rectangular form will be 3 times the cosine of 45 plus 5 times the cosine of 135. So my x value of my resultant is going to be approximately negative 1.414. Then my y value of my resultant will be 3 times the sine of 45 plus 5 times the sine of 135. And that gives me a y value of approximately 5.657. So
So this x value and this y value, I need to change that back to polar to see if I get close to this resultant that I did with the head tail method. Uh, my uh, r value is going to be the square root of this number, negative 1.414 quantity squared, plus 5.657 quantity squared. So my r comes out to be approximately 5.8. So that was pretty close to what I got when I did the head to tail method. And then my theta will be arctan of y over x. So 5.657 divided by negative 1.414. So my theta is about uh, negative 76. Now remember that um, tangent won't show up on the calculator if your vector is in quadrant 2. So I need to, this angle is down here in quadrant 4, so I need to add 180 to that to get my theta for the resultant, and that'll be about 104 degrees, which, again, that's very close to the one that I got with the head-to-tail method.